guys, BDOG6655 here, and I'm back with another Madden video. Um, for Christmas, my parents got me a new phone, which, you know, it's great and all, it's not an iPhone or anything, which wasn't what I was hoping for, it's a phone that I was hoping for, it, but the problem is, I didn't, I, um, saved my old man here, my old phone, using my device, I didn't use Google or anything, so I can't use my old team on my new phone, so I had to reset my whole my whole team so it's not as good I mean it's not bad it's an 84 overall my last was an 88 overall so it's not that bad I'm already up to an 84 overall so I'm just gonna show you my team quickly and then I'll get into a little head-to-head -head gameplay because I need you guys need to see what my team looks like so it looks a lot different I don't think I've had any of these players ever in the game so my favorite card in this game my my three favorite cards in this game are quarterback, halfback, and fullback. My quarterback, Kirk Cousins. I mean, I got this guy for 30k. Like people underestimate these players because he only has like 85 mid. Like because people only use they they use a lot of mid attack passes. So or they just run. So it doesn't really matter to them to have. I don't know why they're selling it for 30k. So I got Kirk Cousins for 30k. I'm like, yes, this is the card I've been wanting for a while. Because the um, 92 overall Teddy Bridgewater that had on my old team wasn't even as good as this card. So, this is uh, Kirk Cousins, 81 speed, 92 throw power, 94 short, 85 mid, 88 deep. The only downside is 46 elusiveness, so he's trying to break off a run, which I do sometimes with Kirk Cousins because he has 80 plus speed. So, he he won't really, he's not as fast as you might think. He's got 88 excel though, so that's pretty good. And he hasn't fumbled yet, and I run with him a lot. And my half pack, I have CJ Spiller. Also picked this guy up for about 30 to 40k. 95 speed, 96 excel, 97 agility. The biggest. This is the best thing I've ever seen ever. 92 catch and 90 carry. He won't fumble and he can catch the ball. This is comparable to the Reggie Bush card, except this card is better. Reggie Bush has 99 agility. This card is 70, 97. But he CJ Spiller is faster and he has the same catching. So pick this card up. If you have Reggie Bush, sell him. He's about 150k. You get this guy for like 40k, maybe 50 if you're unlucky. And there you go. You have a halfback that's better than Reggie Bush. It doesn't have any boosts, which is a problem because Reggie Bush did have boosts, but it's okay because he's a lot. This card's a lot better. And then obviously I have the uh, out of position. Fullback Don Taripo, because the 98, 98 strength, the 94 run block, which is what I needed, because he used to have Anthony Sherman for a period of time in my old account. He had 96 run block, 94 impact block, but I did want to have Don Taripo for that big strength, because Anthony Sherman wasn't as strong, so I have Don Taripo for the big strength. And he's got 86 awareness, so what's his base awareness? His base awareness is 85, and he has he's boosted to 86 awareness. And we'll get into my wide receivers, Emmanuel Sanders, 86 overall football outsiders, 91 speed, 93 catch, 92 jump. Those are the only stats I care about ever as a wide receiver. You need to be fast, you need to catch, and you have to jump, okay? Or And then I will have that one power wide receiver. Before I got my elite wide receivers on this account, I had Mike Evans and Alshon Jeffrey because they're, Mike Evans is tall and he's strong. He can... He's a good wide receiver. If you guys need an 84 wide receiver, that's your options. Those are your options right there. Anyway, um, Deshaun Jackson is my other wide receiver. 86 overall team of the week. 93 speed, 92 catch. 87 jump is the downside, but I don't throw to him that often. And if, if I do, it won't be a deep pass. And then in my slot, I have Anquan Bolden, 83 speed, 91 catch, 87 jump. Not even the best card, but I have him for the plus one orange, which is the greatest thing about the league cards because they give you the plus one awareness, which is crucial for your team. If you do not, if you do not know, if you're playing head-to-head, -head, if you're playing league, if you're playing those, those types of games where you can counter plays, awareness boosts the percentage that you can counter play. So let's say you have half x a team counter and... Sometimes your team might not counter, and you're wondering why, because your team doesn't have the greatest overall awareness. So you want to boost that awareness. That's that's the greatest boost uh, in the game, because you can counter other people's plays. So my offensive line isn't that good. I've got Jack Muhort, 
86 overall for Bell and Setters because of his 92 run block and his 90 impact block. Pass block is not that good, but Kirk Cousins is right hand quarterback, so I'll roll out to the right. So I don't really, and I usually run to the left, so it doesn't really affect me with his 84 pass block or whatever it was. And then that's going to probably wrap up my offense. You guys don't really need to see the stupid gold cards that I have in here. My defense, I just got this card today, Navarro Bowman, 89 overall football outsiders. It came out, like, last week, maybe a week before. And it's not too bad. His coverage stats are good, which is why I have him at 3-4. And then Jarrell Casey, my other elite player, 80 overall defensive end base. Which is good. He has the 92 strength, with the, which is really needed in 92 pursuit. So he will come after you. Even though he only has 71 speed and 80 excel, the 92 pursuit will help him a little bit. And that's kind of it. There's not much to talk about here. Marcus Williams, Alteron Werner, Darian Stewart, Jimmy Smith. Those kinds of cards, which is just what I need on a decent defense. And on my special teams, I have the Indomitian Sioux Kicker. 91 kick power. 80 awareness isn't that good, but he has 79 kick accuracy, which isn't that good either. But I have him because, you know, it's Indomitian Sioux, and big man kicking kicking a football is pretty cool. Um, Ladarius Webb, 88 speed, which is what I was looking for. A faster, faster, faster kick returner. And then I have Tom Brady punter. I, I wanted, When I didn't have a punter, I had a, like a stupid bronze punter. I was saving up to get a good punter, maybe an elite punter, maybe the Brett Kern. But I pulled this guy, I pulled the Tom Brady in the Frozen Flurry set. One of the fl Frozen Flurry sets, that one where you have to put in the Snowflake and the Silver Trophy, that set. And I pulled Tom Brady, so I didn't need to buy a punter, which is good. I wish they would put fakes in the game, because then I could throw with Tom Brady. And then I have Orlando Skandrick as my punt returner. He's got 87 speed. So... Um, I'm just going to go right into a game. Let's go Dylan. Let's play Dylan. Okay. So, I hope this turns out well. Um, sorry for the whole reset of the team. I was going to post a video of, like, me restarting completely and showing you how I get, how I go up in coins and how I get better players really quickly. Because it, it's been about a week since Christmas, I think. I'm, I'm not really counting. I know it's, um, oh, by the way, guys, Happy New Year. It is the 2nd of January, so, um, Happy New Year to you guys. Hopefully, um, you guys had a good, good, uh, 2015. And let's go hit Emmanuel Sanders. Oh, that's not a good pass. Oh, catch it. Let's run Deep Attack. I'm a, I like Deep Attack. It's one of my favorite plays. Come on, go. Go, Emmanuel Sanders. Oh, that's money. That's a touchdown, I think. If he breaks away from the oh, the corner's too fast. Oh, catch the ball at least. Damn. Woman. Catch the ball, woman. Bruh. And, oh, it's countered, of course it is. Halfback angle's countered. I don't even know how that's possible. That's one of the least countered plays. Oh, shit, it's fourth down. Um. Okay, it's fourth and ten. I'm running halfback's lane 18, and it's countered. Great. So... Sorry for not much the offense, um, and sorry for the terrible internet connection. I have terrible internet connection, so it will be slow at some times. Um, oh no. Anyway, um, just as a quick, just as a quick update, how did I get my team, uh, at this level? It's not even that good. 84 overall is not good, but for a week, that's okay. What I do is I play a season game, I go into auctions, I go into 80, over, 80 overall plus. This only applies to when you ha get all golds. That's how I got all golds. And then I use my... Then you just go buy leads. You save up buy leads. Or I don't open packs. But yesterday, I was coming home from watching Star Wars with my family. For the second time, I watched Star Wars once with my friends and once with my family. But I was in the car and I opened one pro pack because I had like 8k. I'm just like, okay, I don't know what to do with this 8k. I'll just go open a pro pack. And I pulled 92 overall football on setters. Fonte's perfect. Whoa. That's good. So anyway, I sold him. I got some players. And so if you go into 81 plus for 1500, you'll see a lot. Ooh, Brandon Mary there. That's actually pretty good. He doesn't have the best coverage sets. 
I, I actually wouldn't get him. 82 overall middle linebacker, Michael Kendricks. That's an... Oh my god, that's a cool card. Um, Dontrell Inman's card. That looks really cool. Um, uh, yeah, it's, there's not much, but they're, they're there, so if you want to get them. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Um, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time.